I'm here at Dollar Tree. I haven't been here for a while and I have not done a shop with me or Dollar Tree haul video for a little while, so I thought I would do that. I'm gonna go in and see what's new for April. I'm sure that a lot of their Easter stuff is picked over since Easter is this coming weekend, but uh, they'll probably have some more spring and summer gardening type things and who knows what else. So let's just go on in and check it out. One of the first things that I noticed when I walked into Dollar Tree was this whole new section of items that are gifts for mom. So perfect for Mother's Day coming up. There were all kinds of gift boxes and bags and then little gifts that you could put together a, a gift basket for mom with. There were bath and body products and uh, little jewelry trays, coasters cups and just a lot of miscellaneous things and some really cute items. They also had these diffusers that would be a great gift for Mother's Day. They were not in the same section but they had quite a variety of these. Well, definitely new at my Dollar Tree was all of the graduation items, and I hadn't even thought about it, but it is getting time to get those things out. So they had lots of decorations, lots of plates, cups, napkins, tablecloths, uh, signs. They had photo booth props and uh, just lots of items that are perfect for planning those graduation parties. I haven't seen these beach themed votive candle holders at my Dollar Tree before, so I think these are new. They had quite a few different designs. And they also had a lot of new designs of these wall hangings. This one says wild and free, and all of them were like a floral design. I really liked this one, the colors and the florals on it that says home is where the family gathers. And then they had this one as well, good things are coming. So I thought those were really pretty. In the picture frame aisle, they had these, and I haven't seen these before. They're just a frame that have the little twine and clothes pins. I thought those were really cute. They always have gift bags, but I think they've got, gotten some new designs in and a lot of real pretty floral designs. Uh, they had a lot that would work great for Mother's Day. I love the shape of these and uh, they're just really would be pretty for a, a birthday or mother's day uh, but they're just a little bit different than your regular shaped gift bags if you're planning on doing a garage sale my dollar tree had a lot of garage sale supplies different signs and um, stickers they even had the uh, little price stickers that you can use for pricing your items so that's a great deal you know I love my bolero products and they had a new scent coconut and rose oil and so uh, I'm gonna try out something in that I think but they also had face wash and I don't think I've seen the, the moisturizing face wash before I don't usually spend much time in the food area of Dollar Tree, but I did see these fudge mint cookies, which caught my attention because I love those Girl Scout Thin Mints. Um, and then uh, they did have quite a few what I would call healthier snacks um, that would be great for grabbing, like if you're going on a trip or, or just to have for a quick snack on the go. I thought these little battery operated fans were cute and they're in fun spring colors. And these roll up shopping bags are really handy to have and I hadn't seen these before. They have some fun designs in those. So let me show you some of the things I picked up today. I did get a couple of those diffusers. I got the garden rain scent and then I also got the orchid scent and I 
opened the garden rain and uh, smelled it and it smells really good I really like the way it smells I have not opened the orchid one because I think I might give it to my mom uh, for Mother's Day but uh, hopefully it smells as good as the garden rain one and these aren't real big but for a dollar I mean they're a pretty good deal I also picked up some of these prayer boxes. These would make great little gifts just to add to um, a birthday present or a gift basket or something, but they have a scripture in the lid and then they come with a little pencil and some really pretty note cards to write on and I just thought those were really cute. And my Dollar Tree had about six different designs of these and Sorry, this is really hard to open with just one hand, but uh, they all had different verses on them and they were all very pretty. Uh, I picked out the floral designs, but I think they did have some geometric designs as well. And a couple of these are the same designs as those wall hangings I showed you earlier. And so you could put those together and make a nice gift. I did pick up a box of those fudge mint cookies and I did try them and I have to say they're not bad. Not quite Girl Scout cookies, but not bad. I picked up a package of these bamboo skewers and these are the like really long ones, 32 inches long and there's 12 in a package and um, there's nowhere you can buy dowels for 12 for a dollar. So I think this is a really good deal and I'll use them for some sort of crafting, I'm sure. I picked up five of these bamboo cutting boards. These are new at Dollar Tree and they uh, are great for uh, craft projects. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with them yet, but I'm going to come up with something. Uh, they're just a really nice thickness and quality and so I can't wait to uh, make something with these. And I would have picked up more, but five is all my store had. I picked up one of these wall stickers. I just liked it because I liked the cursive, grateful, thankful, blessed words. Those will be great for using for some crafts. I picked up this Bolero package of hand cream. It has the two smaller sizes in it. I like these for putting in my purse or in my car. And so I decided to try that coconut and rose oil scent in those. Then I grabbed a couple of those roll up um, shopping bags. I like to have these like at work or in my car or purse or something um, just when I need a bag to throw some things in. And these are uh, just really compact and uh, they're a nice size. They're not too big, but you can still put a good amount of items in them. And so it just unfolds. And then when you are done with it, you just kind of fold it all back into its little pouch and cinch it up. And then it's just nice and compact. I've been wanting one of these taller picture frames for a project that I'm wanting to do. And so I found those there today. So I picked uh, one of those up. Um, they hold three four by six pictures, um, but it's a taller frame. So it'll be perfect for my project. I also grabbed a couple of gift bags that I need for gifts that I'm giving this week. And I, like I said, I really love these floral bags. They have a little bit of glitter detail on them and uh, I love the shape of them. And I also picked up a couple of Hallmark cards to go with those gifts and uh, those are just a dollar. You just can't beat a dollar for greeting cards because you know if you go Walmart or anywhere else, they're gonna cost you four or five bucks. I also picked up this wire cross frame in the crafts and floral section and I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to use it but it will make a great um, door decoration for Easter or to do a, a floral on. The last thing I picked up with was this family sign and it's made out of plastic. I really like the size of this. It's larger. They did have some other words but this was the one that I liked the best 
And so I hope you liked my Dollar Tree shop with me and haul video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button as well as the bell so you'll be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon.